This site's on the Hunter River estuary, so we're just downstream of where the Williams River joins the Hunter River around Raymond Terrace. And the property owner here, Andrew Redriff, contacted us in the early days of our project to gain advice on how he could manage his riverbanks and prevent erosion continuing. I asked experts from Soil Conservation Service to visit the site to give an opinion on erosion control methods that might be suitable for this site. One of the requirements that local land services had um, for this project was to trial new or different materials to um, deliver the uh, desired outcome. And I wanted to try something a bit more environmentally sensitive than rock revetment. The issue with rock revetment is that it doesn't offer that sheltered environment which will help the mangroves establish. One of the challenges uh, that this site experiences that is different to other sites, it's tidal here and so we get water moving in a boat, both an upstream and downstream direction. So the, the design of the structure has to accommodate for that so that we can protect the riverbank from tidal currents. But also in this environment, we're dealing with large bodies of water uh, where wind speeds can generate quite significant wave heights on the riverbank as well. So we have to be able to protect the riverbank from wind waves coming from a wide variety of angles. So what we came up with was to trial this log wall structure where we use reclaimed timber from approved clearing and recover that material and put it on the riverbank to protect it from further erosion. That helps to reduce the wave energy that's impacting the riverbank and provide a sheltered environment behind the log wall that will facilitate the recruitment of mangrove and salt marsh species, but primarily mangroves that will help with their roots to hold the riverbank together. The timber is expected to stay in place while the mangroves and trees establish and in the long run provide a stable, healthy riverbank. In order to build the wall, first we have to find a supply of logs. We have those logs delivered to site. Using a 27 tonne excavator, we then um, can place those logs on the riverbank. Um, the way we do that, the excavator has a grab bucket attachment. We then place footer logs parallel to the riverbank but offset from the riverbank. After that, we use uh, five metre timber pins driven into the mud um, in pairs at each end of the footer logs. And we then drill and thread through galvanised round bar that is twisted around each of the pins and wound around itself so that then secures all of the footer logs and the top logs in position. The top logs are generally placed in a crisscross fashion to not only break up the wave energy but to build it up to the required height um, that we need to protect the riverbank so we need to get above the high water mark of the river. So far we're, we've completed three stages of this project. Um, we were here um, completing stage two this time last year. So in the 12 months since, we have seen a significant recruitment and growth of mangroves from last season's seed drop. So we found this technique using timber logs has been really successful at this site. It helps to trap mangrove seeds. It also helps prevent some of the eroding bank from washing out into the river, so improved water quality results. This method also uses a source of materials that would otherwise be burnt or wood chipped. So it's a good cheap source of materials. And the fact we're planting and fencing behind the riverbank makes it a more holistic project. So we found the use of timber in bank stabilisation to be quite a cost effective method and showing great signs of success at this site. We're hoping that more and more often there'll be alternative riverbank management techniques trialled and put into place and in the end it will lead to healthier rivers in New South Wales. It's been a pleasure to be involved with this project and try uh, a new technique that is innovative and something that potentially could um, pave the way for a new technique that can be adopted right across the state.